To me, being creative means being alive. You know, from, I think it's what defines mankind, from cave paintings to putting vehicles into space and everything in between. You know, mankind's defined by our creativity, our curiosity, and our longing to want to, you know, tell others our thoughts and feelings, to share what we think and what we feel. We're all artists in that sense, you know, that anything is possible through art, that, you know, everything you can imagine and conceive is, is first drawn out and, and created. So I, I feel that that's, that's kind of what I want people to realize. Ever since I was a kid, I, I, I felt like I always had to be creating something visually for other people to see. Part of what my dad told me when I was a kid is that everything you see, your toys, your shoes, your car you're getting in, everything was drawn out first. And everything started out as an idea in someone's head and was put down on a surface for others to see so they can share the idea or you know share a thought with them. So once I realized that everything I see is drawn out first, I felt like I had to draw everything I saw. The inspiration for, for me starting the Burn series, um, I was working and I was taking a break and I started uh, watching a documentary on the 1800s of uh, uh, history in the 1800s of America. And they started showing these old uh, sepia-toned images of the uh, Native Americans, the Trail of Tears, and then the Civil War and the Underground Railroad with the slaves. And just the, the, the images spoke to me just for not only the emotion that I could see on their face and wishing I could hear what their story was, but only seeing that on their face. Um, what also drew me to it was the actual paper that the photo was on, that it had that burnt and worn look. And it was almost as if the paper wanted to tell me a story of how it got to be like that, how many hands it went through to look like that, you know, what it saw over the past 150 years for it to look like that. And so that, that look kind of attracted me and, and I really, I felt like I wanted to try and replicate that look and, and possibly evoke that emotion that when you see it, it looks like an old photo. It looks like an old burnt, you know, image that has been through a lot of wear and tear. Uh, I wasn't sure I was going to do it by burning. Um, what I wanted to do is, was try and come up with something that was sort of new, but at the same time familiar to people, something perhaps unexpected. Um, so, you know, I, I, I try to think of things that perhaps all of us have done at one time in life. Everyone's thrown a piece of wood on the fire or watched a piece of wood burn. You know, so I, I kind of wanted to take a new, a new uh, approach to it, um, to something raw and elemental, something you know, elemental where I'm using the, the part of the four elements in nature, earth, wind, fire, and water. You know, here I am, I'm using uh, fire and wood um, to create my pieces. So I, I that was part of, of what I wanted to um, create the pieces with, was, was kind of that raw and elemental, you know, uh, aesthetic to it. When people see it, that they're, they're, they, they always say two things, that they can't believe that was done with a blowtorch just because they haven't seen it done before. And I guess that's what, you know, that's what we all as artists kind of, you know, strive to, to try and find something that, you know, uh, perhaps someone hasn't seen before and didn't know was possible. So uh, it inspires me when people tell me that, you know, it makes me want to do a piece better than the one they saw to make them think that. I guess kind of what inspires me, you know, on days I don't feel like doing it is, is the fact that w what I do kind of connects the past, the present, and the future together in the sense that, you know, I feel as an artist, as a painter, I'm doing what others have done for thousands of years, you know, from the guys designing pyramids, drawing the designs on parchment paper to, you know, all the artists throughout the centuries creating artwork. To even, like I said, the people at the factory creating a, a, a camera or a baseball club. There's, there's an art to that and I try and connect myself to, to the fact that that's what I'm doing for a living. It connects me to the past, to others that have done it. It connects me to the present because if I don't do my best at what I'm doing right now, someone in the future will notice it.